All right. The most mysterious creatures spotted on Google Earth. In June 2016, someone posted they had seen an eerie green glow in the depths of the waters off Antarctica thanks mm -hmm. to Google Earth. At first glance, everything looks normal around Deception Island in the South Shetlands. <laughs> Deception Island. But when you zoom in, there are some- Also, Whalers Bay is such a shitty name for this. There's no whales. This is the bay in the middle of an island. Whales can't get there or live there. What a stupid name for a bay. People started speculating it was actually the Kraken. <laughs> okay. I mean, that just looks like algae, right? It's just the bioluminescent the algae. Coming out of nowhere. Isn't it just bioluminescent algae? I don't know. That's my theory. But people started speculating it was actually the Kraken. I love this. You know, there's a, I've seen a lot of <laughs> I've seen a lot of visualizations of the Kraken, you know, this giant sea monster, giant squid grabbing people, wrapping its arms around ships. But by far my favorite is this ball sack with horns and way too many eyes. That is my favorite visualization of the Kraken I think I've ever seen. Yeah, this makes sense. This is definitely what the green glow was. Other people guess that this unusually large object in the water could be a UFO, or even an Antarctic version of the Loch Ness Monster. Okay, so people are just making shit up then. It wasn't just someone was like, okay, well, this, the most logical thing is a Kraken. They're also like, oh, it's a UFO. Also, it's the Antarctic Loch Ness Monster. So people are just making shit up. Glad we're glad we cleared that up. Those who are familiar with this area know that the water around here is full of tiny islands and rocks, and it turns out that this is Sail Rock. It's nearly 30 meters tall and located <laughs> in the same place as this creature on Google. The more It's just a rock. They showed me that weird ass kraken just to tell me it's a rock. Legends of Bigfoot can be traced back to Native American. Ooh, Bigfoot and on Google Earth. Anthropologists have not ruled out this creature's existence. And in 2013, <laughs> it seems that one was spotted by Google Earth. Despite only being visible from one angle, some YouTube. Yep, that's Bigfoot. The hairy beast was said to be lurking within the trees. Others pointed out that the alleged thing looked like a burnt <laughs> tree stump. It's very hard. Yep, tree stump. Yep bear yep a million other things than a bigfoot if the massive animal was in fact a shark it posed little harm to humans due to the it doesn't look that big again even if this is a shark like not you know optical illusion this is like a regular dinghy like a shitty small boat i mean that makes sense that a shark that you know and now for number five but first, if you're new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe. Also, let me know any requests you have for Jesus me. Christ, she just turned up the tone like 10 times. Yeah, so I have the number five. And if you're new here, welcome! Make sure to subscribe! In 2010, a new species of hominid was revealed via the discovery a new of human? two fossil skeletons in South Africa. The two fossils were of an adult female and an adolescent male, who are thought to have fallen into a deep cave around 1.9 million years ago in Malepa, South Africa. Rip them. This deep cave. After falling into the cave, what does this have to do with Google Earth? Animals remained safe. While his search didn't yield photos of the hominids themselves, it led him to find the cave when he otherwise may not have, and prompted him to explore it in person most mysterious creatures spotted on google earth so he just saw a cave on google earth this discovery proves that while google earth is a fun tool for searching for legendary creatures whose existence have yet to be proven it's also invaluable to the field of science <laughs> and for what is that about the prehistoric world two novice loch ness monster hunters named peter thane and andy dixon there are loch ness monster hunters there are people who actively search for the Loch Ness Monster, like, as a job. Actually kind of sounds kind of dope. You know you'll never find it, so it's job security. Your entire life, you know that you will have a job because you can always just keep looking for it because you'll never find it. <laughs> My job, you know, maybe one day we don't need a fish biologist anymore because all the fish are gone, but the Loch Ness Monster, who knows? For some reason, the creature could only be seen on Apple devices. The official Loch Ness Monster what? fan club was undeterred, however, and took the matter into their own hands for further investigation. What is going on there on screen? Just show the fucking... 2013 was the first year since 1925 that there were no credible sightings. Number three... It didn't even show it! Okay, I guess we just don't even get to see it. Bull sightings. Number three, Crabzilla. And no! <laughs> Really? 
fuck. Okay, Crabzilla. The gigantic creature was dubbed Crabzilla, and the picture went viral. Crabzilla! Crabzilla! Sorry. I just need to get out my energy because fucking Crabzilla. The photograph first appeared the year before in a blog called Weird Witch That's not Google Earth, by the way. This is like a... Someone added this. And the picture went viral. Like, this is not... If you actually go to this location on Google Earth, this is not what you will see. You will not see this. This is added in after. Like, t what is this location? Whitstable Harbor. I'm opening Google Earth. Let's check for Crab... Listen, if Crabzilla is there, I will admit that Crabzilla is real. Don't say it moved. It's a, <laughs> it's a photograph. All right, everybody. This is this is where you where everyone says it is. Right here, this Whitstable Harbor. This is Crabzilla. Did he move? Enhance. You guys see him? You see it? Everyone's saying they see it. I don't. I have to be real with you guys. I don't. See, I don't. I don't see it. Zoom in. How much further can I zoom? This is the max I can zoom in. You don't have an Apple device. <laughs> that was the other thing. Go to Street View. Okay. Do you guys see Crabzilla anywhere? If you're trying to see it, you won't see it. Okay. Let me not try to see it. Let me just go at it completely unbiased. Uh, I'm just looking at the ocean. I don't see it. You need glasses to see it? Okay. Here. What about these polarized sunglasses that are on my desk? Holy shit. Put on polarized sunglasses. It's right there. Wow. Can see the claw and the legs. Wow. Guys, you just have to put on polarized sun and it's gone. Wow. You guys were right. Crabzilla is real. He claimed, however, that he later witnessed the Crabzilla firsthand. <laughs> Whether Winter was being truthful or not about this freak encounter, the images ultimately proved to be fakes. <gasps> the largest. But, 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 Crabzilla! Pita Whitehira spotted a giant mystery sea creature off New Zealand's- Hold on, I've, I've been informed that Nat has posted, has posted proof. Oh my god. How did we miss it? It was right there the whole time. Island, using of course, Google Earth. It looked <laughs> like a long dark line in the water, like a snake following a boat. White Hira stated in an interview like a rope? with the Daily Mail that it might have since it lacked the white frothiness customarily seen in boat trails. This sighting came just about a week I didn't after see it. Crabzilla was spotted. White Hira's assessment of the image as an- Okay. So, giant sea worm, everybody with me? When the low quality satellite images zoomed in, the features of a boat at the head of the dark trail- <laughs> <laughs> You can literally see the boat waves. Okay. Vaguely detectable. Experts believe Mount Mabu, which stands at 5,600 feet tall, is Southern Africa's largest medium altitude rainforest. The site <laughs> I love highly specific awards. Ah, oh, it's its largest medium altitude rainforest. So it's the largest mountain at a medium altitude that is also a rainforest. Mount Mabu's fascinating biodiversity taught the scientists that there are parts of this world that are full of wildlife yet to be discovered. This is called the most... I always feel like there's such a disconnect between what they're saying and what they're advertising. It's called the most mysterious creatures spotted on Google Earth. And it's just a mountain that someone looked at and was like, hey, we probably haven't explored that yet, huh? The expedition was successful enough for the Mozambique government to declare in 2009 that they will take measures to conserve Mount Mabu. If Dr. Bayless hadn't taken to Google Earth out of curiosity of the Earth... Yeah, none of these creatures are mysterious. Crazy what happens when we just leave nature alone. Yeah, it's crazy how, like, the one spot that humans weren't fucking up had all of the cool animals. It's almost like we don't fuck it up and they do stuff.